Hello my friends, I am making for you a video tutorial about uh, this new flower, it's Christmas flower. I created this flower specially for Ukrainian children. I want to help them and in our small city we have orphanage, a few houses and there uh, we have more than 100 children and also women from eastern, uh, eastern central part of Ukraine. They moved to our region, western region, because we have war, uh, yes, already nine months. The uh, situation is really terrible. A lot of people in their houses don't have electricity, water, heat, and uh, this is really big uh, problem. And uh, right now I want to do something before Christmas and New Year especially. I want to buy some warm clothes, some warm uh, things for children. Also, uh, food is needed all the time. So uh, if you want to help, if you have chance, yes, you can use a link below this video and uh, you can uh, go to our page. There you will see that you can send $10, $20 or more. Depends um, from your situation. And uh, this all money I will use to help uh, children and women. So I I will buy, like I told you, food and warm things, first of all. Uh, so I will be very grateful for your support. And also after payment, you will get PDF lesson about this element. I made colored schemes and instructions in English. And also you will be able to use this video because this video will be available all the time at our YouTube channel. If you don't have fonts, you just can share this video and other people, people will see this and maybe they will be able to help. Just I really want to do something and uh, together we can uh, help, uh, yes, people, children, and it's really good that we can do something. So right now I will show you how to create this beautiful flower. It was created by me, so I took it from my he head and I draw the sketch after I uh, try to make such shape and after I draw color scheme. So it all was created uh, just a few days ago, especially for this for this thing, for this event, for this charity event. So let's take my favorite Italian viscose white color. I will join three threads together and I will use small steel hook 1.75 millimeters. So and uh, we will start also I will use a colored scheme created by me. So we will see everything step by step. Uh, so in the beginning we need to make uh, 16 loops and join them to the ring. So let's make them just uh, with middle tension of thread, not too tight because you will have very small center and it will be not good. I want to make it better right now, just... Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five and 16 loops. Join them to the ring, just insert hook to the first chain below two threads, yarn over and draw through all these loops. And now take all these threads together and draw them through working loop. And now we will draw this tail to the right side and we will leave it here. It will be better to hold everything. And now this working loop I will make smaller. And our beginning is ready. After we should make one more. So in total we will have two chain loops to move up. And next uh, we can make half double crochet stitches around this circle. So just one time yarn over. Insert hook in the middle of this chain. Yarn over. Make a loop. And after draw thread through everything. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw through everything. One time yarn over. Insert hook to the middle of this chain. Yarn over, make a loop, and after draw through everything. And uh, like this, we need to make 19 stitches, 19 double crochet stitches. Not tight, yes, like you can see. So one time yarn over, insert hook to the middle, make a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through everything and repeat like this. We will have two chain loops in the beginning to move up and after 19 stitches in the circle and after I will show you how to make a slip stitch and we will start second row. So now we have 18 stitches. I will make one more half double crochet stitch and this will be the final stitch. And now we need to make a joining. 
So in the beginning we made two chain loops, so now we need to join to the second chain. Just insert hook to this chain below a few threads and yarn over and draw through this loop and also through working loop at one time. And we finish it to make this circle the first row. Second row it will be not difficult. We will make two chain loops to move up. One, two. After we need to make two stitches, two single crochet stitches to one stitch of previous row. So insert hook uh, below two threads in the next stitch of previous row. Make single crochet stitch. After this we will make picot three four five insert hook below these two threads that we have at the front side yarn over finish to make picot draw, draw threads for everything and to the same point i will make one more single crochet stitch so we made two single crochet stitches to one point and also between them picot from five chain loops after we need to make one single crochet to the next stitch of previous row insert hook below two threads and make single crochet and next we will create a base for first petal and it will be like this to the next stitch of previous row make single crochet after we should make a long chain with five picots and also there we will have puff stitch double crochet stitch so first we should make two chain loops Catch the last chain and now start to make five chain loops. Three, four, five. Finish to make picot from five chain loops. Yes, just finish to make picot. And now we have like two chain loops and picot from five chain loops, like this. Now uh, let's make three chain loops. One, two, three. Three chain loops and again picot from five chain loops. So you need to catch the last chain and from here make five chain loops three four five now insert hook to the first chain from this five and finish to make picot in such way you will get three chain loops and picot okay after we need to make two chain loops and again picot so two chain loops catch the second chain and now start to make five chain loops for our picot so five and now finish to make picot this will be the middle picot at the top of this um, base for petal yes so now we will go down move down here so next we should make two chain loops one two catch this chain and make picot from five chain loops three four five finish to make picot and now like you can see we are moving back so we have middle picot these two they are symmetrically and now we go next here we should make only one chain loop and right now to this point where we have three chain loops to the middle chain i need to make puff stitch double crochet so one time yarn over insert hook to the middle chain below two threads yarn over make a long loop yarn over go to the same point yarn over make a long loop and once again yarn over go to the same point and make a long loop uh, right now we have uh, seven loops on the hook i think so <laughs> and we should draw our thread through six loops so yarn over draw through six loops and now you should have two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops after one chain loop and again catch the last chain and start to make picot three four five from five chain loops finish to make picot like we did before and now the last part just last two chain loops and join to this circle to the same point where we made first single crochet so here we have one and to the same point insert insert your hook and make second single crochet stitch in such way you will get first base for first petal we have here uh, five picots in the middle we have puff stitch and it should be like this next we can move on just go along this uh, circle and after again we will make the same base to do this we should make first only one single crochet stitch into the next stitch of previous row so insert hook below two threads and make single crochet after to the next stitch make two single crochet stitches and between them uh, pick off from five chain loops one two three four five now insert hook below these two threads 
Finish to make picot and make second stitch to the same point. After to the next stitch make only one single crochet stitch. And uh, now we can start to make again this base for second petal. Uh, like we did before, you need to make to the next stitch first single crochet. After we will finish and to the same point we will make second single crochet. But right now we need to make all this uh, chains and picots and puff stitch. So start from two chain loops, catch the last chain, now make five chain loops, three, four, five, finish to make this one picot, and now three chain loops, one, two, three chain loops, after catch the last chain, make picot from five chain loops, make it, and continue to work, two chain loops, Catch the last chain, make picot from 5 chain loops, 4, 5, 5 chain loops we have, make this picot, this one is the middle picot, now we will move down, so make 2 chain loops, catch the last chain, make 5 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot, and now we will work in the middle, make only one chain loop, one time yarn over, go to this chain where we made 3 chain loops, it was only once, to the middle chain insert hook below two threads and now start to make puff stitch so yarn over draw long loop yarn over insert crochet hook to the same point yarn over make a long loop and once again yarn over go to the same point yarn over and make a long loop now we have seven loops on the hook yarn over and draw through six loops yarn over and draw through two loops now only one chain loop Catch this last chain and start to make picot from 5 chain loops. Finish to make it and after make 2 more chain loops. And now we can join to our circle to the same point where we started. We have here first si single crochet now. Make here second single crochet stitch. In such a way we finish to make second base for petals. And we need to make three more. Repeat the same, just look to the scheme. And also you already saw two times how to do this all chains and picots. So repeat the same three times more. And after I will show you how to finish this row and we will start, um, yes, next row, row number three, we will start. Uh, so I finish it to make the last base and just small part we have here. I finish it by making single crochet to the same point where we started. And right now I need to make one more single crochet stitch. Okay. And after joining uh, to the single crochet. where we started we made here two chain loops so joining to this two chain loops make single crochet and that's all okay after this let's see what we need to do after we should make a third row we should start from four chain loops one two three four and we need to work behind this chain so this uh, yes picot uh, and we will join uh, to yes we have here first and single uh, two single crochet stitches so we will work with them join to the first one make single crochet and after sorry just once again i need to do this and join behind this chain make single crochet and after to the next uh, single crochet stitch also make single crochet stitch once again after we will make arches uh, first arch from three chain loops one two three make them very accurate not too tight not too loose and join to the picot to this one that we have from previous row you need to insert hook in the middle of this picot and make single crochet stitch like this and next three chain loops one two three join to the next pick of previous row insert hook in the middle and make a single crochet also make single crochet like this after make five chain loops one two three four five and now i will look this here do the scheme 
five chain loops and join to the our central picot that we have at the top top point uh, here we should make two single crochet stitches in the middle of this picot so make first one and to the same picot second single crochet stitch like this after make picot from five chain loops one two three four five mm, finish to make this picot like this and now go to the other side symmetrically here we should make two more single crochet stitches to the same picot yes at the top after five chain loops one two three four five go to this picot next one and to the middle make one single crochet stitch after three chain loops one two three and join to the next picot to the middle make one single crochet stitch and the last arch also three chain loops one two three and now we will join here where we have this because so we need to make let's see two single crochet stitches to this one and this stitches we should make step by step two single crochet stitches first one and to the next stitch second one now three chain loops we will make we will place them behind this uh, picot and join to this single crochet at this side and make one more to the next stitch of previous row and now start again to make all these arches two times three chain loops after five chain loops work with middle picot and like this we should repeat around four times more and i will fin i will show you how to finish this row and we will start next one I almost finished it row number three and now i will make the last arch uh, two arches uh, three and three chain loops so let's do this one two three join to the middle of picot and after once again make three chain loops so one two three and join here at the bottom we have two stitches we need to work with them make first single crochet and second one now we need to finish this row uh, by making a slip stitch uh, to this first chain that we made we made here behind the picot first chain so just join by making a slip stitch insert chain to the first chain loop and make a slip stitch in such way we finish it to make five bases for five petals and this was row number three now we can start row number four and for this uh, we should tor turn our work yes we will move back turn your work Take the first this petal that you have here at this side and now we will work with these chains and we will make stitches and step by step we will create beautiful petals. So how to start? One chain loop to start. After work with first chain from three chain loops, make around two single crochet stitches, first one. After second one around the same chain and we will work with this stitch of previous row, insert hook below two threads and make single crochet. Go to the next arch. Next, we have half double crochet stitches. First one around, second arch. One time yarn over, go around this arch, make a loop and now finish to make half double crochet. Two stitches we made and third will be to the stitch of previous row. So one time yarn over insert hook below two threads and make a loop after finish to make half double crochet stitch after we go to the next arch from five chain loops make around three double crochet stitches just around yes it's not it's not uh, just difficult one time yarn over go around this arch and make double crochet stitch uh, next on the scheme we have three treble crochet stitches don't forget that you can uh, send some donations to help, uh, yes, our uh, orphanage and you will get letter with PDF lesson about this motif. You will get colored schemes and instructions in English. So if you want to do this, you can use the link below this video at, in our YouTube channel. You will see this link, the first one link in our description here below this video. I made uh, three treble crochet stitches around the same arch now we need to work with these two stitches again two times yarn over make treble crochet stitch to the stitch of previous row and once again two times yarn over go to the next one 
and make also treble crochet stitch. Now we will work with this picot. We need to make four treble crochet stitches into the middle. So first one we have. Now make second treble crochet stitch. Just use this picot from previous row, yes. And after we should make a beautiful chain, a long chain. It will look like picot, but it's really big one. So we have four stitches. After you need to make nine chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After we will use these two first chain loops. So insert hook to this one, second one below two threads and make single crochet stitch. Just do everything very accurate. And to the next one, make also single crochet stitch. One, one single crochet stitch. In such way, we will get like small circle or picot. We can say it's like a circle at, at the top, yes, of this petal. Next, here we have treble crochet stitch. So uh, to this upper part, just place it horizontal, insert hook below a few threads like this and make a slip stitch just to fix everything, yes. After continue to make second half of this petal to the middle of the same picot, make four treble crochet stitches. This will be second part. So just symmetrically, first single uh, treble crochet stitch, second treble crochet stitch, and one more. And now the last one we will make. So two times here and over, and here to the same point, insert your hook. So in total, we made here eight stitches to one picot, yes. And we prepared this beautiful part. We will use this part next and we will get really nice design. So uh, now we will uh, repeat the same stitches at the other side. So to these two stitches that we have near to this one picot, we should make treble crochet stitches. So first one, again, two times yarn over and make second stitch. Uh, so now around this arch from five chain loops, first make three treble crochet stitches. Just to go around, make it around. First stitch, two times yarn over, second stitch, two times yarn over, third stitch. Like this. Now two times, uh, sorry, one time yarn over, start to make double crochet stitches around the same arch. We need to make three double crochet stitches we have two and now the last one this part is ready now work with this stitch of previous row look to the scheme there we should make half double crochet stitch only one uh, around the next arch make two half double crochet stitches and now work again with the stitch of previous row make here single crochet stitch and the last arch here we have only two single crochet stitches and after we need to join to this part before in previous row we made here two stitches now we will use only one uh, this one that is close to our chain single crochet make single crochet after one chain loop and around this arch from three chain loops insert hook below and make single crochet like this one chain loop and now go to this base second base for second petal and like I told you, to this single crochet that we have near to the to this arch, make also single crochet. After start to work with uh, arch, make around two single crochet stitches. Next, this stitch of previous row, take it below two threads, insert your hook and make single crochet. Next arch, make two half double crochet stitches. To the next stitch of previous row, also make one half double crochet stitch. And we have the last arch from five chain loops, make around three double crochet stitches. And after three treble crochet stitches around this arch. So I will make them. After we will work at the top. And like we did before, we will work with these two stitches, make step by step treble crochet stitches, first one, and to the next stitch of previous row, second one. 
After you should repeat the same like we did before with this pico, eight stitches, nine chain loops. This all system look to the scheme and go around. Repeat the same. And after repeat three times more with next petals. After I will show you how to finish this row, row number four, and we will start row number five. Uh, I finish it to make stitches around this five base, so five uh, petals we have. We can finish row number four. And I'm working here at the last arch. I made two single crochet stitches. And now, um, if you will look to the scheme, uh, we need to join again near to this uh, uh, last arch. Make single crochet after one chain loop, work around this arch single crochet after we should make also one chain loop and now slip stitch to the beginning of this row where we started yes just below a few threads insert hook and make a slip stitch and in such way we finish it to make row number four with these petals now we need to start from five chain loops to move up one two three four five after we need to join uh, to the third stitch, uh, half double crochet stitch, it's easy to find because we made this stitch around, uh, yes, we have here second arch, we made this stitch directly to stitch of previous row. So this stitch you will find and below two threads, insert your hook and make single crochet. Now, now make five chain loops, one, two, three, four, five. Skip four stitches of previous row, one, two, three, four to the next one. Stitch number five, insert hook below two threads and make single crochet stitch like this. And now again, five chain loops, one, two, three, four, five. Skip again four stitches, one, two, three, four to the next one, insert your hook. If you don't make mistake, you will have two stitches and pico, yes, the last two. If everything is correct, yes. I have I have everything okay, so I didn't make mistake in something. And now let's make five chain loops again. One, two, three, four, five. Now we will work with this uh, chain circle that we made previously. Around this circle, just insert hook to the, into the middle. We will make nine single crochet stitches, not tight, yes. First one, second one. Third stitch, stitch number four, stitch number five, single crochet, six stitches, seven, eight, and nine. In total, nine stitches we have around this chain. And after we will, uh, again, we will make arches at the other side symmetrically. Start from five chain loops, three, four, five. Now skip two stitches. And here that we have in our petal, so one, two to the third stitch below two threads, insert your hook and make single crochet. After again, five chain loops, three, four, five, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four to the stitch number five, insert hook and make single crochet. And now one, two, three, four, five chain loops again, skip four stitches and to the stitch number five. It, uh, it also should be this stitch, half double crochet stitch that we made to this stitch, yes, yeah? so we can check everything is correct or no. In my case, everything is okay, I can continue my work. So, single crochet next, one chain loop, and we need to go to the second petal, uh, so we will skip all this part in the middle, and again, we need to join to this half double crochet that we have here at this line, yes. So, insert hook below two threads and make single crochet in such way we made arches around first petal and we join it to the second petal we can start to do the same so five chain loops all the time we have arches the same the same size five chain loops skip four stitches to the stitch number five make single crochet again one two three four five chain loops skip one two three four four stitches to the stitch number five make single crochet and again everything is correct because we have two last stitches here yes so everything is okay again three four five chain loops join to this small circle that we made and make around nine single crochet stitches like you understand i will repeat the same 
uh, just around the next petals and after we will finish this row row number five and we will make the last row row number six and we will finish our beautiful christmas flower so let's continue our work and now let's see how to finish this row uh, i am working around this petal the last petal number five let's make a um, joining so i finish it to make like this three arches from five chain loops I join it to this half double crochet stitch that we have here at this line. And now you can see this beginning. We started from here. We made five chain loops to move up. So now let's finish this row. Just everything is very simple. We need to make one more chain. Not one more, just first <laughs> chain here. And join to this point where we have single crochet. So five chain loops to move up this single crochet. Make a slip stitch. And from here, we can start last row with beautiful edging. This will be um, picot, single crochet stitches. So let's do this. We will work uh, around these arches. To do this, we need to make one chain loop to move up after three single crochet around the first arch. One, two, three. After picot from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Insert hook below these two threads that we have at the front side. And finish to make picot again three single crochet stitches around the same arch now we will work around this all stitch of previous row how to do this insert hook to the point where this stitch starts here and make around all this stitch single crochet stitch like this and now again work with the next arch the same system we have three single crochet stitches after picot from five chain loops one two three four and five finish to make this picot and again three single crochet stitches around this arch and once again we will work around this all stitch of previous row insert hook below this stitch and make a round single crochet and now uh, we have the last arch do the same three single crochet stitches and after picot from five chain loops one two three four five finish to make picot and again three single crochet stitches around this arch now we have the stop po point uh, we should start from three chain loops we need to count stitches so we will join to the stitch number four so one two three four stitch number four below two threads make single crochet go to the next stitch this will be the middle one stitch number five make single crochet now here at the top we will make beautiful uh, picots three picots together how to do this start from three four five five chain loops insert hook below these two threads that you can clearly see at the front side make yarn over and draw through everything this will be our first picot from here make five chain loops once again insert hook uh, again below this two thread that we can see at the front side yarn over and draw through everything and once again the same five chain loops three four five insert hook below these two threads and make picot third picot in total we made three picots and now we need to fix everything and make single crochet to the same point here where we made beginning first single crochet make it in such way you will fix everything very good and we will have beautiful three picots at the top and to the next stage of previous row make again single crochet from here switching loops go to the arch make three single crochet stitches around after picot from five chain loops one two three four five finish to make picot again three single crochet stitches around the arch and like we did at previous yes previously around this one stitch we should make a stitch single crochet stitch insert hook below all this stitch and make single crochet around go to the second arch make again three single crochet stitches after picot from five chain loops three four five uh, finish to make picot and after three single crochet stitches one two three around the same arch and now again we will work around this stitch so insert hook below and make single crochet and now the last arch 
Make again three single crochet stitches like we did before, all the time the same system, and pick off from five chain loops. Three, four, five. Now create this picot and three single crochet stitches. One, two, three. Now we ha uh, have this area between petals. How to work here? Very easily. Just uh, make one single crochet around this stitch. Yes. Let's do this. Take like this. It will be better to work. Insert hook again below this small stitch and make a round single crochet. Now between petals we have one chain loop. Around this one chain loop also make one single crochet stitch just around. And go to the next petal. Start from this stitch. Make around all this stitch single crochet. And now work with arch. Everything is the same. Three single crochet stitches. After picot from five chain loops. Finish to make picot and three single crochet stitches. One, two, three. Now again, a stitch around all this single crochet stitch of previous row and work with the next arch. Again, three single crochet stitches and picot from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Finish to make picot and three single crochet stitches again around this arch. Now again around this one stitch of previous row make single crochet stitch. So I will repeat the same. Now we will go at the top. We will create this all stitches and also three picots here I will make. And next I will, I will repeat the same around next petals. Just in the end I will show you how to finish last stitches and we will cut the thread, we will hide tails and our flower, Christmas flower will be ready. It's really beautiful. So let's continue our work. And now let's finish the last stitches together. Uh, I am making now uh, stitches around the last arch. So let's make uh, three single crochet stitches. This is the last arch. At last petal, so next picot from uh, five chain loops, finish to make picot, and after again uh, three single crochet around the same arch. Next on the scheme, we have a single crochet around this single crochet of previous row, and one single crochet around one chain loop between petals. And the last is slip stitch to the beginning of this row below few threads. Insert here your hook and make a slip stitch. One more chain and now we can cut this thread. Leave tail around 15 or 20 centimeters. And now draw to this direction just to fix this last loop. And our beautiful flower is ready. Just we need to hide two tails. I will show you how to hide one, just <laughs> it's the same system. We need to take needle with big eye, insert, uh, I have three threads to this needle and now we will choose where we can hide it. We can hide here or here where, where we have a lot of stitches, so it's better for me to hide here. Insert hook, take some area one or one and a half centimeters, something like this. Insert in the middle of stitches and draw very carefully to one direction and after we will change the direction and draw the same tail to another direction just we will use the same area now we need to draw three all threads huh? okay uh, this area should be not tight so be careful now insert needle in the same area just change direction and insert here in the middle of stitches and again draw all these three threads that i have to this direction and now third time do the same take the same area just change direction and insert needle yes in such way we will fix this thread very good because it's a little bit shiny slippery so it's better to do this three times yes change direction and now uh, we hide the tail everything is just perfect the same i will do with second one tail and after you need to iron and stretch this element and you will get a really awesome result like this 
it's uh, very very beautiful interesting uh, we have combination of stitches these five petals in the middle they look really <laughs> beautiful they stay at, at the top of the flower so everything looks really amazing and also i love this edging with picots and holes it looks uh, very very <laughs> like a christmas flower yes it looks like a snowflakes a little bit uh, also we can say and white color and shiny white whiskers it's perfect thread for such flower so my friends i hope you understand everything i hope you will create this flower at your home by using video tutorial by using color schemes and instructions don't forget you can get pdf lesson about this flower by pressing link below this video you will go to the page where you can send some donations to help orphanage, to help children, Ukrainian children. And to your email, you will get a letter from me with PDF lesson. And there you will see all these colored schemes and instructions. I, I am very grateful to everyone who will help, uh, yes, children and Ukrainian people. Thank you so much for your big support. And I wish you gorgeous results, big inspiration. Stay safe and see you very soon at the new video tutorials. Bye-bye for now.